What's up guys, welcome back to another video of me. So today I'm a little bit excited. Uh, apparently there's a new thrift store that opened up about a week ago, like 15 minutes away from where I live. And it just happens to be a Savers. A Savers. Um, honestly guys, this is not one of my favorite thrift stores. And that's because I've gone to Savers plenty of times and I've n I have like the worst luck. I can never find anything in a Savers for the fact that it is a little bit of a price for where I stay at but um, uh, give this one a chance it's like I said it opened up a week ago gonna go on inside and see what, what I can find hopefully hopefully my luck will change let's see how it goes all right guys so I'm over here at the electronics area and I found this sealed uh, it says hydro series is they have it at $15.99. So they have it for $15.99. I scanned it and check it out. One sold on January 16th for 100 bucks plus shipping. Cool. So this is definitely a must grab. I can't believe I found something. This is the first thing I found. Like not even a minute inside. That's uh that's pretty good. Let's see what else they have. Let's see. Maybe my luck will change this time. Finally. Finally. Let's see what else we can find. Damn, 17 bucks for an Xbox controller? Hmm. I don't know about that. I don't think it's original. I have another one here. It's also 17 bucks. They're not original though. It's kind of overpriced. As I'm saying, it's so overpriced at the, this thrift store. But um, I'm gonna keep looking. Hopefully, I'll get lucky. Look at this cool Alpha Sportwear size medium for almost 12 bucks. Try Rally. <coughs> I like the color on it. It's pretty nice. For 10 bucks, I think I can make a profit off it. Number 30. I like the color, it really pops. Mm. Alright guys, last but not least, I found this uh, vintage propeller hat. I saw these in the past, um, especially the Google ones for like 40, 40 bucks, but this isn't Google. But it's, um, let's see the tag. So this is small. So I can get 20 bucks for it. Yeah, 20 bucks for 199 Good profit, right? This is definitely going to be the winner right here. Just over $100. I got the jack and I got the, the jersey right under. Just so you guys can see what I got. I know I said before. This is the Russell's jacket. There's a Goodwill around here. So I'm going to head over there and uh, see what else I can find since I'm in the area with different thrift stores. Alright, so I know I said I was going to go to a Goodwill. But uh, I don't know if this ever happened to you guys. You guys ever just drive and just be in your own world? So I passed Goodwill like 15 minutes ago. But I'm over here. I was close by uh, this thrift store, St. Vincent de Paul. I've been here before a couple of times and I've actually uploaded uh, stuff that I found here in my other videos. So I'm gonna go in here and see what I can find. I actually wasn't gonna stop here, but now that I'm here, uh, might as well, right? So let's see if we find something here today. Well, I'm not having any any luck right now, but I did find Mr. Bigglesworth. How much is it? 45 bucks? I think it's worth more than that. He's worth one million dollars. No, wait. One billion dollars. Well, there is nothing for me in this one today, which is, hap well, which happens often, I'm sure, for you guys as well, who go thrifting, uh, you know, every day or, or here and there. I've gone to plenty of thrift stores that have not found anything. So, I decided to upload the reality, because it is. There are times where I don't find anything all day when I'm thrifting, but I might find one thing. But, doesn't mean I'm gonna stop. But there's two more thrift stores I plan on going to. There's another Goodwill, um, further up north, and another St. Vincent de Palm. So I'm gonna go to those two, and hopefully I'll find something in those two. Uh, just to end the day with a couple more things. So let's see how it goes. Over here at the Goodwill. So this this is going to be the last thrift store I'm going to go to today. And um, hopefully, I'm hoping I'll find something. Um, this place is always hit or miss. And I have found, I found gems here. 
and there's been days where I don't find anything. So I hope to find at least, like I said, that one item. One item at thrift store makes a difference, believe me. All right, guys, so I got pretty lucky on this Panagonia. Usually anything Panagonia or North Face, this thrift store would have it priced at $20 to $25, sometimes even at $30. But fortunately, they missed this one. So I decided to, uh, you know, look through it really quick. It's uh, Panagonia Workwear Fleece. And um, I was looking through some sold comps. And it turns out that the sales on this uh, one is pretty good for used. Uh, as you can see, one sold for 40 bucks. A blue one sold for 40 40 dollars plus shipping. And I think um, they have it probably at nine dollars or ten dollars. So definitely, I'm gonna grab this one for sure. I gotta say that the pattern on the side really caught my attention. I seriously thought it was a Pendleton jacket, but it ends up being a vintage Scully. Uh, like looks like a bomber jacket. I, I like the whole like southwestern design that has in the front and the back. It's pretty clean. There's no tears, no rips, and uh, sold comps on this. Similar ones are anywhere from like one a hundred to like two hundred dollars. But I'm gonna list this one at one twenty five because I can't find one like this, which is pretty cool. Alright guys, so we are here at the St. Vincent de Paul. Gonna see what's inside. Hopefully we find some good stuff. Guys, look at right, just a, another, again, a, a minute in. And I found this vintage Pro Players. Made in USA, 49ers embroidered t-shirt. Better look right there. It's nice, I think they have it out, let's see. For 350. So this is a for sure, for sure it's gonna come with me for three dollars and fifty cents. Not bad. Let's see what else they have. Check these out. These are pretty cool. Dental floss. They're priced at fifty dollars a piece. Like I would just buy them just to have them, but. I wouldn't have any space if I just keep buying stuff. I wish I had a market for these. These are pretty, pretty cool to sell. They just even hang on the wall. Oh, I'll think about it. <laughs> so, check this one out. It's called Cooper, made in USA. They have it for fifteen fifty, and I looked up this name, and they're like four to five hundred dollars brand new. Used are like up to like two hundred dollars. And it's in really good condition. You're gonna be here in the front with it? Yeah. Okay. Super nice. Check out the back. It's it's like it's hardly ever been worn, or maybe the quality is just that good. So just to give you guys an idea, the one on Poshmark sold for one fifty. It may not be the same one, but I mean, look at this brand new. I'm gonna have to look uh, which model it or something. I'm not too sure. Just look at the prices. I should have I should have kept recording. No joke, guys. I just pulled out this vintage Nike. For I think that was for ten fifty. Take a press. And they're taking out more stuff over there. I'm whispering, I don't want no one to hear me. <laughs> okay, this is time for your cop. I'm gonna buy this for 10 bucks. You know what guys? You know what guys? I'm gonna just keep recording. For 1550. I looked at this name, it's called Robert. I don't know, I don't know if I'm saying it right. Tall Talbot? Museum. New Zealand. I hope, I'm, I hope I'm saying it right. It's super nice. It's like an, a long lid, a long coat. If you guys see it, I'm gonna show you guys the prices on this one. 
Look at the prices on this one. It's like 271. How much does he want? He wants 400 for that one. And it's kind of similar to the one that I have. What else is there? So Rollins, uh, nah, I'll pass on that one. It's not for me. Pink Floyd World Tour 87. Is this older game? Well, it's newer. 2021. Still pretty cool, right? I don't know, I might, might get this one, maybe. It's pretty big. Man, what a score today, right? Can't believe I found those things in this thrift store. I mean, overall, today's, uh, today's trip was so worth it. As I mentioned before, there are days where I would go to five up to seven thrift stores and find nothing. Maybe one thing, but that's not worth uploading, right? But overall, guys, like, so happy with what I found. And, you know, thank you guys again for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Take care, everyone. Thank you for watching.